Hello guys, this is our tutorials and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to create chain dynamics like in this project that I made and the free intro template that I made and here I'm playing this um, and you can see that the chain behaves like a real chain would in real life and I just thought it would be cool because nobody else on YouTube covered this how to model and animate a, or an interpret a real chain behavior <coughs> in Cinema 4D. So, yeah, let's get to it. Um, if you don't want to do this, you can just download my free template, and it already has everything done. It has the platform attached to the chain, and on the platform, there's text. I won't be showing you guys in this tutorial how to create a platform, so I'll only show you guys how to create a chain. So open up a new file, go to File New within Cinema 4D, File New, and uh, first of all let's model the chain. Uh, let's grab a rectangle and select it and uh, keep the width, decrease the width to about 300, the height to, actually no, let's make it smaller than that. Uh, decrease the width to 200 and the height to about 100. Yeah, that, that's about good. Um, and check off rounding so that it's rounded like a chain. Now go to hypernerbs and select sweep nerbs and drag the rectangle below sweep nerves and uh, now go back to the spline or not yeah yeah sorry go back to the spline and select circle and drag this below sweep nerves make sure the circle is above the rectangle and uh, decrease the radius of the circle right here Decrease the radius to, uh, let's see, yeah, about, about 20, yeah, that, that's about good, about 20. Okay, now when you select sweep nerves, make sure that it has lots of, um, lots of segments, if it doesn't, then uh, then it's not gonna then the chains will break apart. They will be really weak So make sure it has lots of segments and to do that you select uh, the circle and uh, If we go to if we change the intermediate points to natural and If we increase the number, I think it's gonna either decrease on or increase the number of uh, seg Segments, but what uh, what we have here? is not good it's too many too many segments so let's increase the number of the circle intermediate points uh, to let's go with 20 and make sure the intermediate point set is set to natural and if we click on sweep nerves again oh, that's that's actually I think it increased by the number of polygons or uh, yeah the polygons If we decrease this to maybe three, and let's go to sweep nerves. Yeah, that if you decrease the number, then the number of polygons decreases. Uh, let's put it to. Uh, let's see. Eight. Let's see. Yeah, eight is good. The number eight is good. Now uh, we can get to the part where we can animate them and put them together. Uh, so select sweep nerves, right click, and um, click select children, and hit C on the keyboard. And you have this whole object right now. And um, Let's select our um, 
rotating tool and rotate the blue to 90 degrees and you can hold shift so that it's not it goes to 90 degrees square um, now let's create more of these so select it uh, hold hold control on your keyboard uh, hit C button on your keyboard and then hold control and click V on your keyboard so you copied and pasted it if you don't know how to do it on the keyboard just right click on the object and uh, there should be somewhere duplicate the object uh, I can find it I'm not gonna waste time on it whatever um, now drag this new new uh, chain that you uh, just duplicate it up and let's uh, turn it this way so that they fit each other and let's select both of them now hold shift select one and the other and hold control hit C on your keyboard hold control hit V and that will duplicate them and now grab the two new ones that you duplicated and drag them up so that again these ones fit each other and I'll just stop this and I'll make more of them I'll okay so I think this is about enough this many chains um, now let's create something that the chains will hold on to or be attached to so that they don't fall down let's go to the objects menu and select um, let's select a cylinder let's rotate it same way we rotated the chains 90 degrees and let's resize it by dragging these little uh, yellow points drag this one on the edge down and the uh, the tube will become smaller and just fit it to your preferable size and now drag the other one to increase the length this sounds kinda wrong but uh, who cares now let's grab the drag tool and let's drag it upwards and fit the chain the top chain then right click on the cylinder go to cinema 4d tags no actually sorry go to simulation tags and select collider body and um, in collider body increase the friction to uh, 4000 and uh, shape select that to moving mesh or actually no not moving mesh let's select that let's put it to static mesh so make sure static mesh and uh, select all of the chains so select the top one and then go down select the bottom one and uh, right click on them go to simulation tags select rigid body and um, first thing let's decrease the bounce let's increase the friction to uh, about 6000 and the shape change that to moving mesh okay so now you basically have the chain and if we go to frame 0 and hit play it, they're all gonna drop down depending on how you place them and see they're just moving around just wobbling around but if you select the cylinder and if you go to frame 0 and hit key, hit keyframe and then go to frame let's say 25 and move the cylinder to the side and hit keyframe 
and then go back to frame 0 and hit play you can see that the cylinder moves to the side and then the chain follows as it would in real life okay and the reason we increase the friction on both cylinder and the chains is because if we didn't then the chain would just slide off of the uh, cylinder it would not follow so we increase the friction so it doesn't slide off the cylinder and you can go to frame um, frame 50 and drag the cylinder back to where it was or even further and maybe a little bit up and uh, hit keyframe and if we play this again we'll see how it goes to the side then goes up really rapidly and the chain kind of follows it and the chain gets stuck to the cylinder because it's it, there's so much friction it's almost like a magnet well it's, it's basically like a magnet so yeah don't do it so fast so it doesn't like get stuck to the cylinder like that so yeah this is pretty much it guys um, nobody else covered this, this on YouTube so I thought it'd be cool to cover it uh, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time